right, here we are back in American Samoa 2023. So just landed on Thursday. Uh, got to hook up with Henji already and saw all the guys over at Homeland Security. So, so far the trip is going fantastic. A lot of work ahead of us. I think I talked about that before. Like there's gonna be a lot of work. So hopefully you're gonna be able to see a bunch of the sirens. I've already taken a look at a couple of them, but I think you recognize this place. Back at Sadie's by the Sea for another epic trip to American Samoa. I don't think I had all the gear that I have now. Uh, so I'm gonna have the drone up in the air, got the GoPro here, got the new EOS 5R. So I hope you guys get a good sense of American Samoa and the culture that's here and you can't beat the site. So let's take a look around American Samoa 2023. Sadie's by the sea, Pacific Ocean. So uh, let's take a dip, see if we can see any turtles. to load up the first siren head being replaced.
right, here we are at the first site. Just got into the cabin. I got everything wired up and it looks pretty good actually. So satellite is in place and now the crew is actually just getting the head uh, and the solar panels uh, mounted basically. So we're gonna do the solar panels first. They need to actually be welded on. Little tabs need to be welded and then we're gonna go up and do the head. So here we go. Henji brought a very good lunch. Thank you, Henji. I appreciate that. And then, of course, we give the scraps to the dog. So everybody gets a lunch here in Samoa. probably one of my favorite uh, spots here because the uh, wharf even though it's very corrosive and uh, always a troubled site the wharf is pretty cool because it takes you over to the island of Anu and I hope I'm saying that correctly but uh, so we're gonna take a look at this siren it's the end of week one you might uh, say well Rob where did you get the hat so at one of the uh, siren sites I made a trade for this hat for the hat that I had so they said that's uh, a custom here so I don't know if I got taken or not but got a new hat and got a new haircut and week one went pretty good so let's take a look around the island let's take a look at a new and uh, let's get the drone up in the air here we go down at turtle and shark to get a couple of pictures and it's probably one of my most uh, favorite scenic spots here on the island of Samoa it's just uh, beautiful with a little blowhole back here capturing the, the sea mist coming out and uh, watching the waves crash over the lava rock is just uh, so beautiful and there's a lot of tradition here too so turtle and shark was actually explained to me as this area was very uh, traditional in the sense that if you sing into the sea if you stand at the the coast there and you sing into the sea you'll actually see a turtle or a shark so that's how it was explained and the legend was explained to me so whenever I come here I kind of just sing along a little song and hopefully uh, I see a turtle and a shark so not like the turtles we saw down at Sadie's. They were super cool, but this spot is very scenic, very uh, lava rock orientated here. So very uh, sharp and dangerous, but uh, came down and got a couple of 360 pictures. So let's take a look at turtle and shark.
All right, good morning. And it is the start of week number two. So I think the first week went pretty good and I was able to show you around the island a little bit, some of my favorite spots. Uh, went to Mata Mafuti. Hope I'm saying that right. And we also went down to Turtle and Shark. So took a look at a couple of those spots. Week number two is underway. Hopefully we have the Aspa cruise today. Let's get in the big old black beast and hopefully that nail is uh, not gonna cause me any problem in the tire, but let's see what we can do. Week number two, here we go. All right, here we are at the stadium site and today, a uh, very special day because we have Aspa getting ready to do the welding for us. So the governor, under the direction of the governor, he has asked that any government uh, facility or agency that can facilitate some assistance to the siren project is obligated to do that. So we got ASPA here. They're gonna be doing the welding of the brackets. We got the new brackets and everything laid out for them. They actually have two bucket trucks so big thanks to aspa american samoa power authority for giving us the manpower and the equipment to get this project done so american samoa the people will be safe from a tsunami but big thanks again to the aspa uh, power authority for the assistance today so we are getting it done in american samoa <laughs> Tomorrow. <clears throat> Beautiful. Now I will be protected from the sun. All right, this is what we do. American Samoa 2023 corrective maintenance project. And uh, guys hooked me up with a new hat, so can't beat that. here we are made it to the only u.s national park in the southern hemisphere so check this off the bucket list because we made it here there's quite a few but the one that i like to go to is called coxcomb that's what they call it on the island here and you'll see that the mountains are actually shaped like a, a bird's uh, mane is the way that it was explained to me so let's go check it out Got weather moving in, so we're gonna try to get the drone up, get some footage of Coxcomb, American Samoa. Here we go. said this has got to be one of the coolest national parks in the world and uh, so I just pulled up drove down the uh, crazy access road and uh, gonna make my way down into the 
into the park. Let's see where we can go. All right, here we are. Whoa, here we are in Coxcomb Point. And uh, what a beautiful sight. You can actually see and hear the water crashing on the rocks and tumbling them. And like I said, these rocks are so smooth and so round just by the, the water and the uh, surf coming in and the tides moving the, the rocks around each other and in the sand. So such a cool spot. another cool uh, snorkeling experience so I saw another turtle but as soon as I saw him he took off out of town so didn't get a chance to see him but a lot of other cool fish out there so Sadie's by the sea never disappoints Samoa 2023 what's the secret to happiness So the turtle and shark legend is like so a grandma and her granddaughter were running away from something or someone and they ended up at the top of a cliff and the grandma told the <laughs> granddaughter do you trust me and the and the grandma jumped off the cliff and turned into a shark and okay. the granddaughter did the same and she turned into a turtle Wait, they jumped wow. off a cliff right? yes oh wow yes Why? They were running away from something. They were running away from something. Huh. Oh, and that's turtle? and that's the legend of turtle and shark. Yeah, why and turtle, they jumped into the ocean. Right.
finally packed up and headed out to the truck for the last time. Uh, it was a great trip, but all good things have to come to an end. So yes, we made a lot of progress with the uh, tsunami sirens and we took a look around the um, island again and not a lot like i said has changed uh, the beauty is still here of american samoa the people are still amazing the sights are amazing the humidity was uh at a hundred the whole trip was able to get some running in and uh the third to last day i twisted my knee and I hope my meniscus is all right, but uh, pop that. So I was gimping the last couple of days. Thank goodness it was at the end of the trip. Um, met some new friends at Homeland and uh, got together with uh, some old ones. And of course, Henji was there the whole time uh, supporting this uh, mission of the corrective repairs of the tsunami sirens in 2023. So we had a good trip. Um, but it's I'm looking forward to get home it was three weeks a long three weeks uh, hot and humid the whole time had rain come in and out on us um, but it was so cool to see uh, some old friends meet some new friends and be back in American Samoa so um, until next time uh, which is probably in a month uh, I'll be back to uh, Sadie's by the sea where in the last two days, uh, the health inspector shut the uh, restaurant and the pool and everything else down. So I uh, had to look for other resources, but uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing place here in American Samoa. Very unique, not very touristy, even though the cruise ships are coming in uh, again after COVID. But uh, it's a very, very unique place, very cultural, rich in their heritage. and. Um, uh, I'm just proud to be uh, here and uh, help the people of American Samoa with their quest to stay safe uh, in case a tsunami comes. So, Until next time, I'm clocking out back to the States. Maybe you'll see a little bit of Hawaii as I'm in and out uh, quick, but uh, I'm clocking out. Peace! Good morning, Hawaii. So just flew in from American Samoa and was able to catch the sunrise in Waimea Bay. So pretty cool because uh, that bay and right behind me, uh, Shark's Cove is one of the coolest places that I like to snorkel and check out. So it's a little rough today, but, uh, and I don't see anybody out there, so. I don't know if I'm going to be actually snorkeling today, but uh, what a great view. Hawaii, one of my favorite places to go, and uh, this may be the best place that I've ever snorkeled. So, Shark's Cove, Hawaii, why may it be? Here it is. Nobody else but you You caught my eye And I've got a feeling I'm falling Show me the ring and I'll jump right through I used to to the North Shore. Let's get the drone up and take a look and see how Pipeline looks today at the North Shore. Here we go. I'm flying high, but I've got a feeling I'm falling, falling.
falling for nobody else but you. Here we go. Over our shoulder, and I was able to get here from Samoa and actually cut, cut, catch the. Even in Hawaii, I find myself in the tsunami area. That's uh, the siren tech in me, I guess. Hawaii, tsunami area. Colina had a great shower and uh, was able to get a drink and uh, jump in the hot tub so can't beat Colina Marriott 2023 definitely will be back here in August hopefully uh, well I don't know I think we talked about going to the big island so this may be the only trip to Colina this year so thanks Colina I really needed that shower and uh, felt great. Oh. 